Jason, see this week? What is this week? It's Rousey week. See oh, you actually, you actually referenced see this it's cup? Rousey's Cup. It's Rousey's Cup. See that sound, gay? That's Rousey's sound. His guy. name is Bart. Ronda Rousey, obviously fighting this week against Holly Holm, UFC 193, Saturday night, the big night. We're all looking forward to it. And of course, media frenzy is underway. Everyone's talking about Ronda Rousey. People are coming out from between the woodworks to talk about Ronda Rousey. In particular, Enid Bash, who is the only woman to overcome Power wrath. Name. What a powerful I know, name. that is a powerful Edith name. Bosch? You need to Great have name. the name Enoch Bosch to overcome Ronda Rousey. So she was the only woman to have overcame the wrath of Ronda Rousey in the Olympics. So she had some nice words to say. Are, are they nice words, Jason? It goes back and forth. The second part of the book where Ronda mentions you is, of course, prior to the, the bronze medal matchup at the 2008 uh, Beijing Olympics. Yes. The referee had barely finished saying Hajime when boss grabbed me by the collar and straight up punched me in the face. She was pretending like she was going for a grip, but then she launched a straight jab at my face. Then she punched me in the face again and again. The referees didn't care. They let it go. After a scoreless regulation, we went to golden score, a five minute overtime where any score wins the match. There was a minute and some change left on the clock. There was time for one or two more exchanges before time ran out. I went in for an attack. Boss got away. I went again, this time attempting a throw. Boss tried to counter. We tumbled to the mat. The crowd roared. For a moment, I thought it had gone my way. Then the referee called a score for Boss. She pumped her fist victoriously. I mean, of course you're wondering. What would have happened if I would picked up the MS, MMA as well? And we would be not on a judo tatami, but we would be in a cage and just get it on. I would really love to punch her though. <laughs> so. Thanks, Bart. Bart is our sound guy, by Bart the way. And our production guy. hand and does a lot of stuff around the studio. He's not just that guy, Francis. He's Ronda sound guy. You don't, someone who's Ronda's property is not just something that's something's property. Got your back, Bart. This isn't surprising. And this is, it's everyone's job. We are doing it ourselves. Is that we want to talk about anything that can somewhat show any sign of weakness for Ronda Rousey. When the bottom line is we know there's no weakness whatsoever. But people will say whatever they want. Like we, we've seen there, she was a fierce competitor in judo as well, and that's why she utilizes those skills. But it seems like every aspect of her fighting ability that she brings in, whether now it's judo or she utilizes boxing, is that some people do have their ups and their downs about her. Because it, Freddie Roach, who's arguably the, the best trainer living, boxing trainer, would you agree, disagree, disagree, you agree? Yes. And moving over from the world of judo to boxing, which is something that she has clearly been working on as subject in her last fight, we, could mm -hmm. we see in her training, um, Shadow Previous, boxing. she was working on her jabs, she was working on her combos, and it mm -hmm. worked out It worked out so well in that fight, in the early stages of All it. All 29 All 29 seconds, seconds of the rounds. It's, 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 every second's a round, apparently, though, in Ronda Rousey World. Well, that's the thing. It's like, well, are you going to buy this fight? No. Why? Because I'm just watching an Instagram video later. <laughs> I tweeted that, Jason. You just stole it. I said, you know Ronda's good when her entire fight can, fight can fit into a Snapchat video. And I got like a million gajillion retweets on that. Moving forward, here's what Freddie Roach had to say on Ronda Rousey. People ask me if she can beat me in a fight. Well, I am 55 and I know nothing about the ground game, but if she gets me in a lock, I have no idea what to do with it. So yes, she can beat me. Ronda's on top of things. People like her and I used to do mitts with her a long time ago and it was a lot of fun. He continues to say uh, in his interview with the MMA Hour, but she has stepped up in this high up there right now and I wish her the best of luck. She's not the best boxer in the world, but she is good. She's very competitive and she tries really hard. I mean, it's not probably the best thing she does. I think she is better at the ground game, but again, she is more experienced there. Her boxing is good. The girl she is fighting is a good boxer also. While they stand up, it will be a good fight, but once it goes to the ground, I think Ronda will destroy her. Roach does suffer from Parkinson's disease, so it is hard for him to, uh, his speech is stuttered, except when he's uh, training during a fight, actual yeah. fight. He says it totally lapses him. He just locks himself in. But it basically took a while to say that, yes, Ronda's going to destroy her. That, yeah. that was the, the summation of that. And also that the 55-year-old Freddie Roach would not beat Ronda Rousey yeah, in a fight, awesome. which but, is awesome. Yeah, but, but it's interesting when you hear from someone who's an expert in the boxing industry to say yeah. that she's genuinely not the best. She is good, but she's genuinely not the best boxer. Now, what you see from a lot of media sources after her previous fight is was 
oh my god, she's fantastic. Her boxing ability is astounding. I think we she's don't have fight. enough tape yeah, of her exactly. to see anything. What's outstanding? She's not being challenged is it for, from so a, a standoff from someone throwing blows at her it's to see how her defensive capabilities are in boxing. Francis, Jason, I have a question: Is Ronda Rousey that good, or is her competition that bad? That is a good question. God, what are you a politician? <laughs> What are you, a politician? That's a great question. I would like Next. to answer that question, but I would like to also talk about the world perspective of that question and so figure out how we do it. So let's take this question in context, right? So here's a question. Here's a context. Well, I think she has faced some good opponents. I don't think in the, her last two fights, I don't think they've been anywhere near the capability that would make it any what of a challenging fight. I think everyone wants to see the fight between her and Cyborg, but it still continues to go between the differentiation in weight class. Try to say differentiation was taking a breath in. And that's where I feel like you could get at least someone on similar playing field, but not exactly anywhere near her playing field. I, d I mean, I've watched yeah, they should Holly put, Holm. No, no. Easy, easy, easy decision. Put Holly Holm and Cyborg in the cage with her. That's, is that what you think? Done! Is that how you think it would be challenging? It would be even. But I, I, as if Holly Holm is able to not be taken to the ground early, which I just don't see happening because from what I've seen in tape, her, her defensive ability to stop herself from being taken down isn't good enough for Ronda Rousey not to take her down. If she's she's pretty good at boxing, as you can see that from someone like Freddie Roach stating it, if they can stay toe to toe for a, a lengthy period of time. That's it. That's what I want to see her know. challenge. But I want to see a fight go three, four rounds. Yeah. I think Ronda Rousey's going to win. I'd be insane not to think that. But I just want to see what happens when maybe for a minute her back's against the wall. Just for just to see what it's like for her now, like is and when you overcome those kind of challenges, then you can say, yeah, maybe she really is that good. I think she is. Oh, of course, I think. But for is. the most part, we haven't seen anybody challenge her. Granted, that's not her fault that she's so dominant in her sport. That's not her fault. That's not on her. Yeah, and I, and I completely agree. I just want to see her being put in. I want to see her overcome adversity for a little bit. That's exactly what I want. I want to see you overcome. Uh, the 10 foods that Ronda Rousey eats before a fight. 10 foods Ronda Rousey eats before a fight, according to the New York Post. One, chia seeds. Two, hemp seeds. No, not weed. Uh, three, coconut oil. Four, free-range chicken. Spinach, black coffee, beetroot. I'm not going to bother pronouncing number quinoa. nine. Quinoa. And, uh, and uh, water. Um, so that, that looks like it's the... Boring! That looks like it's the, the ingredient. That's your just, diet. Yeah, it's like giving to someone on Chopped. When they're like, all right, here's all this shite. Go make something half decent. And they're like, all right, we'll throw make the seeds in this. Make me a five-star steak. And we'll throw this in. And I'm like, how did they even come up with that? A, a lot of boxers as well, they're, they're almost, they're not starving themselves, but when they're trying to make a cut, as soon as they're as soon as soon they done weighing in, man, they pack in the food. Do they? they? Pack, yeah, because they need to give themselves a more weight to make themselves heavier, make themselves not feel as many punches. You listen to some of the, you know, Ricky Hatton was out in his autobiography saying that after he was done weighing in, he would go in and pack in. Well, obviously it's not just packing in cakes and McDonald's and shit, but it's a lot of stuff that's, that's how I prepare for and make a you a little make you a little more cushioned in the areas, and it's it's a short period of time, but that's what happens. It's because it goes straight to your thighs. To finalize our Ronda Rousey clip, no, we're not going to bring out Ronda Sound Guy Bart. Bart, I said Jeez. Bart. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm not bringing out Ronda's Bart. I'm going to talk about the music <laughs> video that we have to throw to. Let's take a look. Just because my body was developed for a purpose other than fucking millionaires, doesn't mean it's masculine. I think it's femininely badass as fuck because there's not a single muscle in my body that isn't for a purpose because I'm not a do nothing bitch. This, the segments that they've taken from her, bang on true. Anyone that doesn't think Ronda Rousey's attractive because of the muscular side to her, like, you're insane. She's clearly attractive. She's very, very good looking, but just how, I don't know, how dominant she is undoubtedly makes her more attractive and just how, how confident she is more than anything else. Confidence is key, Jason. Confidence is the first thing anyone can see. Don't let anyone tell you different. I fix my tie, fix my hair. In my waistcoat. I think it's just a it was like a fan and Ronda Rousey video. I, like YouTube had a couple thousand views. Bleacher Report I think picked it up, and you know it just goes out to show that five days before Ronda Rousey's fight, there's a lot of stuff about Ronda Rousey circulating the interwebs. Anyone will do anything to get in the web about Rousey. That's why me, Jason, Bart, and the rest of the TYT staff are going to paint Rousey on his. Jason, Bart, and I. But go on. What is it? You my English teacher? Yeah, back. I hate my English teacher. That's because you learned Scottish. But um.
Tish. Like, favorite, subscribe. At friends on the screen, Maxwell, at Joseph 91 at TYT Sports. And uh, we'll see you next time.